Hi there, Greg's Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. I just want to cover how to use the distance shader in Arnold 7.2.1.0. So I've got some text here sitting on a plane. Maybe I want some colors to come off uh, around the text, like a kind of logo effect. So I'm going to create a distance shader for that. Connect it to the color of the flat shader, which gives us this. So we're getting black and white colors. We've got a black near color and a white far color by default. So if I was to increase the distance, you should see more of the near color and can change the colors like so. Now to give us more control, we could also add a ramp RGB. So connect the ramp to the color of the flat and the distance to the inputs of the ramp. And then make sure the ramp type is set to custom. So now we can create more colors here. And we want more red here. Green here and blue here. And then we can adjust these colors in the ramp to give us more control, so like so. This is black up here, get okay, something like this. Now if I just decrease the distance to a larger amount, I guess we're getting some noise here, so we can increase the number of samples that should solve that. Just be aware that it will add to your render times. Just be careful of this value. Okay, so if I was to create another object, position it in the scene. Notice it's contributing to the distance shader it's sitting on the plane. Maybe we don't want the uh, object to be affected by the distance shader. So how can we do that? We can use a trace set to avoid the teapot. So I'm going to create a trace set called teapot in the distance shader and then select the teapot and create an Arnold properties modifier and then go down to trace sets. Use the same trace set teapot name. So now, because we've got inclusive enabled, only the objects with the teapot trace set are, being, uh, are using the, the distance shader. So if we uh, disable that now, we're just getting distance shade on the all objects that don't have teapot trace set. Okay, so that's how to use the distance shader in MaxAway. Thanks for watching and bye for now.